Mysterious Oceans. Caption. Crabs crawl among giant tube worms in the deep ocean. New ocean species are being discovered all the time. Deep diving. It has no mouth, eyes, or stomach. Its soft body is encased in a white cylinder and topped with a red plume. It can grow to be eight feet tall. It is a sea creature known as a giant tube worm, and it lives without any sunlight on the deep, dark ocean floor. What we sometimes call the deep ocean, in contrast to shallow waters, covers almost two-thirds of Earth's surface. On average, oceans are about two miles deep. However, the deepest point known on Earth, Challenger Deep, descends nearly seven miles. The ocean's floor is varied, consisting of vast plains, steep canyons, and towering mountains. It includes active, dormant, and extinct volcanoes. This undersea world is a harsh environment because of its frigid temperatures and lack of sunshine. The deep ocean is also a mysterious environment that remains largely unexplored. Little is known about it or its creatures. Do any of them cache food the way land animals do? Do any ocean species hibernate? As one example among countless mysteries, not a single live giant squid had ever been spotted until a few years ago. We knew they existed only because their corpses had been found. Map the deepest known point on Earth. Map labels. China. Japan. Pacific Ocean. Philippines. Key. Black Line. Mariana Trench. 1,554 miles long and 44 miles wide. Red Circle. Challenger Deep. Caption. The Challenger Deep is located in an undersea canyon called the Mariana Trench. Amazing Adaptations When a submersible, or submarine, was invented that could descend farther than any other craft, scientists were then able to make the odyssey to the deep ocean floor. However, exploration remains difficult, and they have since seen merely 5% of the underwater world. As scientists anticipated, life generally seems sparse at the bottom of the deep ocean. Few creatures can survive there. Food sources that sea creatures depend on, such as dead plants and animals, rarely drift down from the ocean's surface. As a result, animals have to adapt to an environment that is not only frigid and dark, but also has little food. One example of an adaptation to this environment is seen in the starfish. Deep-sea starfish grow larger and more aggressive than their shallow water relatives. They can't afford to wait for an occasional snail to pass by. Instead, deep-sea starfish are predators that actively forage for food. They reach up their five arms, which have pinchers at the end, to catch meals of agile, fast-moving shrimp. Anglerfish are also adapted to the Herculean task of finding scarce food. Each has a bioluminous or naturally glowing lure on the top of its head. This shining pole is sensitive to vibrations and allows them to attract other fish. With their huge jaws, they quickly seize their prey. This fish, the striated frogfish, lures prey. The nose is an adaptation to life in the deep ocean. A basket starfish rests in a deep-sea coral reef. He heated habitats. What has truly surprised scientists, however, is the discovery of another very different type of environment on the deep ocean floor. They found that cracks or vents in Earth's surface exist underwater, just as they do on dry land. Seawater rushes into these vents where it mingles with chemicals. The water is also heated by magma, or hot melted rock. When the water from the vent bursts back into the ocean, it creates geysers and hot springs. To scientists' amazement, the habitats around these vents teem with life. In addition to tube worms, there are huge clams, eyeless shrimp, crabs, and mussels, along with many kinds of bacteria. One odd creature is the Pompe worm. It has a fleece of bacteria on its back that, as far as scientists can determine, 
insulates it from heat. How can so much life exist where there is so little food or sunlight? Scientists have discovered that many creatures transform the chemicals from the vents into food. The process is called chemosynthesis. Because of this process, animals are able to flourish in these remarkable habitats. Creatures that don't use chemosynthesis for food, such as crabs, eat the ones that do. There are many mysteries to be found and solved at the bottom of the deep sea. In the last few decades alone, scientists have discovered more than 1,500 ocean species. If scientists continue sea exploration, they are bound to discover many more.